Hey guys, so this is an unpopular opinion thread. And just remember, not all these opinions are our opinions. And I say some naughty words in this. And just try not to take a thick. Don't it's don't a don't don't get too upset about it. I think we had a lot of fun with this. Yeah. So please try not to get too upset if anything in this does upset you. Yeah. Also, guys, high chance that this uh, video is not going to get monetized. So check out the models. <laughs> Helps us out a lot. Helps us out, and that's get into the video. Unpopular opinions. Autistic amounts of exposition for the creation myth when the present day is two steps away from a bog standard fantasy. Introducing faction options as though you're playing on the rails New Vegas and can join them in other save files when the campaign will be three months long and the players have an obvious pick. Please don't do this. I don't know. I think the first one, I'm okay with it. Uh, you know, if people want to create their own mythical creatures and really want to delve into that backstory, I'm cool with that. Yeah. But if you're just like, like, there's only so many times you can really create the wheel, is it? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. it, like everyone knows a centaur when they see a centaur. Yeah. Everyone knows a kraken when you see a kraken. You don't need to have, it doesn't need to be that special, yeah. you know? GURPS and HERO are literally just toolkits for people too lazy or uninformed to just go out and make their own systems and will always result in something mediocre at best if you use them instead of something specialised at what you want. But the thing is, you're assuming that people have the capable skills to create their own system yeah. and make it balanced and yeah. make everything work. And a lot of the time people just want to play a simple game. Yeah. Well, like, you're not going to get a, you're not going to get a simple game when it comes to GARPs. Well, I know that, but uh, I mean like just if it's all written out for you and you can yeah. just play along with it. Yeah, you just instead of having to think and put other shit into it. <laughs> like not everyone's got the time to spend yeah, like exactly. three years creating a exactly. campaign, you know what I mean? Exactly. Dwarves, halflings and gnomes have no place in fantasy. No, mm. uh, no, no, no. Okay, no. halflings can go away. Gnomes, I don't like. Okay, I'm not dwarves into the whole... Dwarves Dwarves are cool, right? They have no place in fantasy because they are so visually similar to humans. And humans can do what they do without any issue. In fact, humans being lucky would actually explain their presence in fantasy settings with other races than what they currently are, which is nothing. Actually, he does have a bit of a point. That it, no, actually, you know what? Okay, I'll give it to him with the whole I luck get, thing. I get, with having no, I, get, I get having no humans in fantasy mm -hmm. settings, but leave the dwarves alone. Leave the dwarves be. Halflings, I, I don't care much for it. Gnomes, gnomes can I, get the fuck. I, I, look, I, See if you play, say you play as a gnome, I bet you you're a Disney fan as well. <laughs> the, no, the only people that play gnomes are only playing them for the men, Max. And yeah. that's only, like, and I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, putting, I'm saying that, boys, right now. I don't care. I don't, I've never met someone IRL that says gnomes are my favourite like least yeah. to play as. Yeah. Or you're a 30-year-old Disney fanatic. Yeah, that too. That, mm -hmm. Yeah. Dragonborn should have just been half dragons in 5th edition. Yes. Yeah. Everyone should develop their own tabletop role playing game at some point. <laughs> Fuck. No. What time do you think I have? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just feel like a lot of people don't have that ability. I know. And, you know, what happens, okay, so you design your own you design your own game and you invite your friends over to play then you have to sit down and explain, explain to them explain the game and, you know and you, like then you're going to have to hand them out like copy outs of the rules and know, you know, know. it helps you become a better GM and better understanding the ways behind things in other systems you play slash run I would agree with that yeah I agree with that no but I definitely agree with that um, no <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with going along with what the GM has planned if everyone's having fun sometimes a rear rolled can be fine yeah 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 100%. completely cool Conversely, the GM should, from time to time, actually prove players' suspicions right, rather than going for a gotcha when they've misinterpreted your clues. Yeah, but some it, it, dep it depends, depends, I think, on the, the story. Mm. Or if they're completely out of the park. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I've went off on things for like a good three hours mm -hmm. because of, I've misinterpreted something. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's, you know what? That, yeah, let, let's just go with what they actually think happened. Yeah. To, you yeah. know. Anime can be a fun inspiration for games <laughs> because of just how crazy and over the top it can be and how marshals in anime tend to be absurdly powerful. Just look at the big three Shawin protagonists. They're all marshals of some kind. I, I'm not going to comment on this. Um, this is unpopular opinions, and I do believe that is most definitely <laughs> an unpopular, unpopular opinion. opinion. So he's proved it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Edge lords can be fine as long as they have a reason to be edgy. Yes, and they can use the party to help them overcome whatever it is and learn to trust and care about people again. 
The aloof loner edgelord rogue who's been telling off the good-natured paladin only to step in and save his life when shit hits the fan after travelling together for a long time is some of the most kino shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. I, I, You know, the problem is, I think when a lot of people do the whole edgy rogue sort of shit, it turns cringe yeah. or there's like, oh, dead part. They just mean, we think, like, everyone just wants to play Batman. <laughs> is that what it is? Everyone just really, it's like, can I be Batman, please? Yeah. <laughs> Bestiality should be legal so long as it doesn't cause <laughs> physical trauma to the animal. No, I, I th- no, no, no. There's more to it than just because it causes no, physical no harm. Such, no, there's no such <laughs> thing as bestiality should be legal and at, at any point. Your opinion is wrong, but I appreciate you posted an unpopular opinion thread, and at least you understand. This this whole like green tax bit it isn't even D and D threat. <laughs> like, do you want to go? Do We're you want to do, do you want to go for it then? The age when someone is considered an adult is set at 21 for no reason in particular and should be re-evaluated. Yeah, well, the thing is, like, you know, where well, we are, here, we're over here at 16, 18. well, 16 to 18, it just depends. Yeah, um, yeah I'm, I think 21 is, well, 21. for American, 21 for drinking, I think it's 21, too, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a bit old. Yeah. You know? Sexual maturity occurs Oh, much Jesus, earlier. of course, it was going to go that way. <laughs> and mental maturity occurs much later. So one of those milestones makes much more sense. I'm prone to the latter far more than the former. I wonder why. I wonder why, you pedo fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Plants in your diet have done far more harm for human health than meat, sugar, or corn, and carbohydrate-heavy plants specifically. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I definitely think... Probably. Um, I, I definitely agree with that. I think meat... But they're still good for you. Yeah, well, you know, you not still... if you live in America because they might shit that you fucking spray I've no, on like, them. I have no idea what like American. <laughs> see, the problem is when I'm talking, to, I'm, I'm talking to Americans about these problems with food mm. and stuff, and the problem you know is we've what? got a you very know, different. You, know, you want to find the difference? McDonald's, for example, in America and here, look at the ingredients in McDonald's. Uh, chips or fries and McDonald's the, ain't good no, anywhere you go in the world no, like, look, at, McDonald's the, is look not at the great. ingredients in the fries for the UK yeah. it is potato, corn flour whatever it is and oil or, or whatever yeah, and salt, just... look at the ingredients in the American fries yeah, and exactly. you tell me like, that's not fucked up yeah like okay, we'll we'll promise we'll, we'll, we won't bully the Americans for any longer for okay. this video. How does yeah. that sound? Okay. We'll, we'll lay off you. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Birth control is a large reason for divorce rates. It alters their hormone and hormone receptors in females. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, one hundred. That's why I went off it. It's yeah, it's completely. It's not good. Up, it's not. It's not good for you. It causes females to become attracted to scents and tastes in men that are not gene- what Genetic. genetically compatible with them for child production. Um, I no. don't. I don't know if it goes that far. I don't think it does that. I don't. I don't think it goes that far. But I definitely don't think. Um, I think birth control is generally oh, it, not it, it, good it's, for your it, mental health, mental as well. health, and hormonal and all that stuff. When they stop taking birth control, those hormones and hormone receptors change again, and the female no longer likes the scent and tastes like before and assumes it's them no longer being in love with the man this man got hurt <laughs> this man yeah. got hurt I, 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 look, I, I, look, I'm not I'm not a femoid so I don't know enough about I just, I, the back the no, back end of that but, um, you up, but I don't think it does that maybe it's just because she genuinely isn't in love with you <laughs> I don't know I don't know. Fuck, why did we even do this post, Jesus? If I fell in love with James because of his smell, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> you like that musky neckbeard scent? <laughs> Fuck me. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties, we got lizard bitties, we got orc bitties. Oni bitties, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. High fantasy is boring because it overexposes you the, to the fantastical, which takes out all the wonder and mystery out of fantasy. It does come to that sometimes where it's like, well, we don't need to worry about this because we can just get magic to do the job. It, it, like, it, you know what it is? It's kind of like, okay, okay, Lord of the Rings. 
oh, you know, they could have just got the eagles. It's like, yeah. well, that destroys yeah, the entire that story. Destroys that, 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 that destroys the whole story. It, it wouldn't have been, mm. wouldn't have been enjoyable. It they wouldn't could have, have done been, that, but like, could have, but the movie would have been like two seconds long. I know, and no one would have enjoyed it. It and wouldn't have been great. I can't read that without saying be me high fantasy sorry, <laughs> sorry Ganto sorry Ganto <laughs> we always be remembered as a creation that says be me be high, me fan- high fantasy, fantasy. <laughs> absolutely no one understands nobody, what we're on nobody in this video will understand that Look, we've already meandered enough magic should be influenced by real life ideas of magic instead of the D&D kind where people can throw fireballs left and right but do any of you guys remember that LARP video of lightning bolt? Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Mm-hmm. Lightning bolt! Oh, I mean, that was the best thing I've ever seen him pinging off his head. <laughs> All human parties with humble backgrounds make an adventure better because then you'll have a relatively common people overcoming both mundane and supernatural threats through the use of their wits and strengths instead of overpowered magic, which makes everything trivial. Yeah. I understand it. I, I get it, yeah. It, once it, it depends on the players. It de- yeah, it depends on the group, what people want to do, how you want to go about it. Like, it does, like, you know, you can be like, oh, yeah, this would be great. But if you just show up, it's like, yeah, we're just going to dab on everything. You <laughs> yeah. know, it depends on your attitude. Yeah, like, you it, know. Depends on the, it really it depends, depends on the group. On... Players should be able to play magicians, but they should be rare and their magic should be feared like all real life magicians were. Just play a witch. Yeah. I, would, I, I, I think witches are called witches and warlocks. Like, okay, you guys are going to hate me, but some of you may already know this, but I'm a bit of an edgy boy, right? <laughs> we know. <laughs> like, I enjoy them, all right? I would much rather go for um, dark, evil, war, like someone that sold their soul to the devil, you know? There's a reason why James plays Dark Eldar. I really enjoy the Dark Eldar, <laughs> all right? I will have no... I, and I love their play style. I like how they move. I like. <laughs> I think the model line... Like, we'll have no more said about Dark Eldar, warlocks, all that stuff, because... <laughs> <sighs> please, no Billy. <laughs> Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, and Discord tourists other sort of Puritans and literal faggots and anyone who unironically thinks identity politics belong in everything need to fucking leave yes yeah uh, no. oh my god uh, I, oh. I fucking despise identity politics oh, and it's like pure core for that. I fucking love that <laughs> <Get out. laughs> look, look guys look guys um, I feel like me and Megan okay so you guys know we're from Northern Ireland yeah and identity politics when it comes to like America and stuff is a very new thing. I think yeah. it's only come about in the past ten years. We've been dealing with we identity have to live po- with this shit. We've been dealing with identity politics for a few hundred years at this yeah. point. Yeah. Um Protestants, Catholics, it's the exact same thing. I'm fucking sick to I'm death s- of identity politics. I'm sick to the back teeth of Oh it. and I, I, I look and you know the thing is people that say oh Get out my swamp. Oh, oh if you don't <laughs> if you don't like identity politics, obviously you're a fascist. Suck my like- no, oh, no, no, absolutely not. Don't, don't. It's just, I couldn't give don't. less of a fuck. That's it. Just be you. Be a person. Yeah. I don't give... Just, I couldn't give less <laughs> of a fuck. <laughs> like, it's it's pure cringe. Get over yourself. That's that's oh, all I can say about it. Um, I really do despise identity politics at its pure core. Yeah. And I feel like... I don't want it anywhere near tabletop goal playing games. However, it's at that point in the. I just want to play a game, man. I don't want to play no politics. It's at that point though. At the, the cultural zeitgeist mm-hmm. is tampered with at this yes. point that mm-hmm. it's almost impossible to avoid, uh-huh. no matter what. Yeah. But yeah, I think like, let's just keep going with that. I don't want to talk about it any longer yeah. than when we have to. Critical rule is garbage and should remain <laughs> in its containment thread. I've tried to watch Critical Rule. It's not my forte. We've said it before. We've, said it we, before. we've tried. It's not, it's, just, it's, not, it's just not my cup of tea, all right? Everything made by Games Workshop is garbage. <laughs> that should remain in its containment thread. <laughs> I do quite okay. Look, I don't even play the game anymore. I do still sometimes paint models, stuff like that. I don't play the tabletop. It's not for me. I'm only into role play yeah. now. And we got 3D printers, so yeah. we have models we print me, 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 me. I got my own models at home, boy. <laughs> by the way, check the links down below, please. Please, <laughs> please this video is never going to get monetized. Everything made by Wizards of the Coast is garbage and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can't help but agree, though. <laughs> it's okay to visit other boards. Just don't pretend they're on topic in TG. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah I would agree with that. Yeah. There is no sure way to tell if someone here plays games or doesn't, even if they explicitly say they do or don't. But sometimes I can feel... Oh, you can feel it. You can feel it, though. 
Magic should never be treated as or called a science. Yes. Yeah. Magic should never involve machinery or industry. Yes. Uh, I, I, uh, no, I don't think it should. I, you know, you know, I, 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 you know, I do hate steampunk and all that shit. But I've recently been looking at a lot of, you know, like World War One style uh-huh. magic tech, and you know, I have, like I'm a I sucker for World War One. Okay, I'm a real sucker for World War One. Don't hate me for it, right? And I, okay, come on. Magic is its own system of power. It can be the only power, but if the power exists, those powers aren't magic and function differently from magic in a meaningful way. I mean, that's a lot of big words you use in there. Yeah, it's a lot of big <laughs> words for me here. My, my small brain, no comprehend, <laughs> bigger smooth, function. My smooth brain. <laughs> no, I, 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 no I, get, I get the basics of what he's trying to get at. There are better ways to balance the fighting man and the magic man than making one start strong and the other start weak. Ways that involve actual game balance. Yeah. Yeah. Pepe is retarded. <laughs> hey, look, look, don't 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 hurt my boy Pepe, alright? I, <laughs> I, I I'm so partial to a good solid Pepe meme, alright? Not because bottom feeders see him as some symbol of Nazi or fascism or whatever, but because it's shitty art that looks gay and is spammed everywhere <laughs> and treated like the upper echelon <laughs> of you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me out. Like, I'll throw. <laughs> Don't call me out. <laughs> Ribbon and Cestry aren't much better, but at least they aren't gay frogs. <laughs> okay. There's nothing wrong with cheesecake, which includes tasteful nudity. What's cheesecake? <sighs> cheesecake is like muscle, muscle woman. Like instead oh, of beef right. cake, you got cheesecake. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Which, you know... Quest like, should like, have yeah. never been created. Quest would have been better off completely eliminated than to stagnate and mutate in their own cesspool of life support. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, it, it, people just got really taken away with Quest threads, so yeah. um, I do miss them on TG, but I don't. I'm okay with them. <laughs> I'm okay with moving. not being there. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like, honestly, see some of the stuff on Quest. Uh, Look, I'm not going to get into it, but some of the drama involved with them boys is oh, unreal. No, like, no. I mean, they're fucking... Pff, <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I'm not getting into it, but the drama is unbound on yeah. that board. It's bad. The existence of worse threads doesn't justify a shitty thread's existence. Yeah. Moot's departure was a mistake. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was never a big Moot fan, personally. It wasn't, wasn't me. It wasn't yeah. for me, anyway. We're never getting monetized. No, this video's fucking cursed. Lord of the Rings sucks ass. Well, your opinion's gone, so that's all that I need to say. Anyone who cares about it outside of watching the movies occasionally should be shoved into a locker. No, Tolkien was a fucking genius, and I'll have no more said about it. Exactly. Um, I look that would, you don't want to hear an entire video or an entire thirty minutes of me gushing over how much I absolutely love oh, Tolkien. Same. Um, so I'm just not going to not going to do that. Do that, but um, you cannot deny that. Look, everyone grounds about fantasy and even some science fiction to this day mm-hmm. being really stagnant, mm-hmm. and we're still playing mm-hmm. on tokens Token like stuff. Yeah, like you know yeah. his, his his themes and but his. He the, he's the foundation for it, though. I know, and you know the thing is, a lot of people complain about it being like, "Oh, we're still using it." It's like because it was that fucking. It was that good. fucking good. There's no, just... there's no other relf- <laughs> relevant stuff out there that you can play on because yeah. his was just that good. fucking good. Until we get something better yeah. that a lot of people base their stuff off. Because, like, you yeah. know, let's be serious. Like, we base our elves, our token elves, uh-huh. you know, our halflings, our Whenever hobbits, you think uh, of humans, them, or. I think uh, of token stuff. Yeah, we think of Numenorians. Uh, like, it, it, like, the, no, let's go on. Like, like, come on, let's just go. Let's just get on to the next part. People who insist on historical realism don't understand history and be, sh- <laughs> be shoved into a locker. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I do agree with that. With some some people have came across it just clearly have no understanding. Yeah. I would say I'm a bit of a history fag myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really enjoy it. But you don't, but you don't enforce it. I, I wouldn't. No, you don't. It doesn't I hate need. when people are like, uh, <sighs> whenever you're Look, we all get a polar arms No, but that couldn't happen because actually, actually this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is the weight of this thing, and this is how it yeah. didn't, wasn't carried like, together. Like, like we're, we're, we're not going about with fucking anime swords here. Yes. Like, e- like everyone enjoys a good halberd, all right? And that's where we're going to leave this one. Edgy characters are super interesting and sheer fun if they aren't ever going to betray anyone. 
The second an edgy character starts to betray anyone, the player should be shoved in the locker. <laughs> yeah. You know, I might actually start using this, but just shove people in lockers. Yeah. Um, I think he's onto something here. This one is less of an unpopular opinion and more of a statement, but it's incredibly obvious when your shit is anime inspired. Yes, it is. Japan has an extremely deliberate language with a specific philosophy and mythology that causes numerous modern concepts to all be contained under the same words, which are always translated exactly the same. Once you notice it, it's incredibly grating. If you only draw your inspiration from Japanese media, you should be shoved into a locker. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm still in this you should be shoved into a locker um, yeah no I definitely do get that like, I, th- I think um, Japanese philosophy and mythology is really fucking very cool interesting. and it is and it's really it's an alien culture mm-hmm. that is actually very fascinating yeah. and I think it would be hard to say that it's pure cringe all of it yeah. but anime is yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like we've get, done enough we're, shit we're, on everyone else. like that's, that's it fuck this like this video's cursed let's just end it here, will we? What would you? I don't even know what question to ask you. Write shit in the comments. Yeah, I like, don't know. <laughs> what, what would our unpopular opinions be? Um, I would just continue to shit on anime, but uh, a lot, enough people also dislike anime that's not an unpopular yeah, opinion um, at this point. I don't know what my unpopular opinion is. Um, I think, uh, okay, no, well, I was talking about that last one was alignment charts, but we already talked about that last video. What would be a good one? If you show up to a game with one of those, um, like, Grim Reaper tops on, I'm going to know <laughs> exactly yes. what type yeah. of player you are. Yeah, you know... I've, You're going to play an underage girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, no, I did play with one IRL, a fella, middle-aged man, wearing, like, you know, one of the Grim Reaper yep. Yep. ones, yes. and, like, motorbike jacket, but doesn't actually drive a motorbike. Yeah. You know? Um, no, he was playing a fighter's... Demon Hunter sort of... Was it a female? No, he was a male, so he was. No, oh, really? no, he was. He, he was actually kind of cool guy. I actually liked him. Yeah. But, but I'm uh, just putting that idea. Yeah, yeah, no, I get <laughs> I know it. who you are. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if you have your own unpopular opinions, let yeah, us know down below. down below. If we have enough of them, we'll do our, do our yeah. video on your guys' Check ones. out the links as well. Check out the models. The Fuck, we definitely the need it. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. <laughs> this video is fucking cursed. <laughs> the chances of it getting monetized are zero. The chance of us being fucking cancelled by some Twitter mob is high. <laughs> um, you know, like, uh, hit subscribe. I, it hit does the help us out a lot. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.